Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another vlog. Excuse my hair, it looks really weird with this hair band in at the moment. Um, as you can see, I'm ready for the day. Um, it's Friday today and um, I'm up early. I've already been out for a walk this morning, took my dog um, and I'm just about to start some work, do some filming, but I need to brush my hair first. Apologies if you can hear any background noise. We're actually having a little bit of work done in our garden. So there's like a digger and stuff out there at the moment. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. Um, but I may show you that actually at the end of the week because it might be quite fun to see the before and after of what's going on. We're just having a patio put in, which is quite exciting. I'm actually just watching Gossip Girl, which I haven't seen properly in ages i think i've only watched it through once before like start to finish watching it every episode so uh, i'm actually really enjoying watching it again i always like to have something a series that's light-hearted um and easy to watch on the go so i can just put something like that on in the background like when i'm getting ready or when i'm not really doing anything i always like to have something on um, so yeah, I'm re-watching that and I'm absolutely loving it to be honest. But right now, I'm just about to film a summer styling video. And this is my rail that I have ready with all my bits on it. As you can see, nice and neutral as always. Only two black items, which is good. Um, a few creams and whites and some blue denim. Um, and then a few accessories and stuff down the bottom there. But I've put together about 11 summer outfits with these pieces. Um, Obviously you could wait, make way more, you could make literally like 100 outfits with these pieces but I've just chosen my favourite 11 because um, it worked well with the setup that I'm doing. I know 11 is a bit of a random number um, but yeah I'm just going to film that now. I'm actually going out for dinner tonight which I'm really excited about. It's my first time out to a restaurant but um, me and my friends are meeting up which will be so nice because I haven't seen them since December. Um, we were supposed to go on holiday together, we were supposed to go to Amsterdam in April and obviously that got cancelled which is really sad because we were all looking forward to it so much. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see them. Um, there's four of us going out for dinner and they're like my best friends. Um, been friends for eight years I think since school and yeah I love them so I'm really excited to see them so that'll be good we're going for a Japanese yeah and I think the weather's going to be quite nice this weekend I just felt like vlogging and picking up the camera so hence why I'm here I'm not really doing anything exciting but I just thought I may as well vlog the next few days and we'll see how that goes everyone um it's later on in the day i've scraped my hair back and i've got myself ready and i'm off out for my dinner with my friends as i spoke about in the last clip um and i just thought that i would show you my outfit and show you a new piece of jewelry that i'm going to be wearing tonight um this part of the video is in collaboration with daniel wellington and i have an amazing new piece to show you. So this is the watch that I am going to be wearing tonight. It is beautiful. This is a real statement piece. This is the Lumine watch and it is stunning. Let me get it out of the box. So I wanted to wear it tonight because this is a real statement watch and obviously I'm going out for dinner for the first time in ages. Um, I'm quite dressed up so I wanted something special to wear and I thought this would be a great opportunity to pop this on for the first time. So I'm going to show you in a separate clip the watch a little bit closer up so you can get a better idea of what it looks like but it is this beautiful two-tone bracelet which I love because I love mixing metals and mixing hardware. Um, so that suits my style perfectly and then this really simple classic face with these gorgeous Swarovski crystals on it which I think just really elevates the watch to such a classic timepiece. It's so sophisticated and elegant and that's why I wanted to wear it tonight because this is a little bit of a special occasion and I want to feel special. <laughs> so I've popped this on with a really, really simple outfit because I think this is such a special piece. It really takes centre stage. So if you do have a special occasion coming up, this would be absolutely perfect. It's going to look amazing with a classic glamorous outfit because of the Swarovski crystals on the face. I think it would be perfect actually paired with some sequins 
or something with a little bit of shine to it um, and also some cooler tones hence why I've got it on with the black because it just stands out so much with this outfit. So if you do want to pick up this Luminae watch, all of this information will be in the description box along with the website and a direct link to this watch. So I'm gonna show you the rest of my outfit now. So I told you it was very simple, ignore the mess on my bed. I've just got on this plain black dress um, from Reform. It's got some ruching up the sides, my black oversized blazer over the top, my little sac de jour, and then these heels are from Raid and I literally love them because they're so comfy. I'm sure you will all agree this watch stands out so much with this outfit. It's such a classic piece and I'm really excited to finally be wearing it tonight. I'll vlog as much as I can remember to this evening but I may forget. Saturday today I am popping out later I think for some lunch um, and maybe a drink I don't know yet we haven't decided what we're doing yeah it's Saturday morning I've got myself ready the Sun is shining which is nice I've had a delivery from pretty little thing so I thought I would show you a few pieces and um, they very kindly sent me these pieces just to be transparent um, but I wanted to show you them because there's some lovely bits here i have this really nice two piece um it's just this crop top i don't know how well you can see it but it's got like a halter neck so it goes on like this just nice and simple black um and then there's a skirt to go with it as well so i'm really excited to wear these two together i think they'll make a really nice outfit it would be great for on holiday if i was going on holiday which i'm not the sun is so bright all of a sudden it's hurting my eyes also i chose this vest top which is just a nice, simple white vest. Um, what I liked about it is it's quite a thick material and on the inside is like a sweatshirt material, so it's super soft. Um, but I just quite liked this. I thought it would be quite handy, a nice basic. Um, and I got this in a size eight and I got the two piece in a size eight as well. And then I picked up a couple of pairs of shorts. So the first one, some tie-dye shorts. Now, I don't have anything tie-dye. Um, that was sort of a big craze at the beginning of lockdown and I felt like I'd missed out on it. So I just thought it might be quite fun to have these tie-dye shorts. They're sort of like a bit longer, um, but I love these kind of shorts. I have like five pairs of them now because they're just so comfy and they're really easy to wear like around the house. I thought these would look quite nice with the white vest top, so I'll probably wear them together. Um, and then I also picked up like a little pair of almost mini cycling shorts. Um, they're just ribbed, like an off-white colour, elasticated waist and super short. And they've got kind of like the stitching down the front which makes them look a little bit like boxes. Um, but I thought that these might be quite nice with an oversized cream jumper or something like that. Um, and then I also got the jumper that I'm wearing right now which is just black and it says 1987 on it and then it has some stuff on the back i don't know how well you can see that but it has a little montage on the back um yeah so thank you to pretty little thing for my new pieces i'm very excited to wear them all as i said i might be popping out for lunch later um i haven't decided yet but obviously i had a really nice time with my friends last night it was great to see them all we had a lovely meal and a lovely catch up so yeah i will pick you back up um shortly i might also show you the work that we're having done in our garden um because we're having a new patio fitted so i don't know that might be of interest to some of you it might not be i don't know hi everyone it's monday morning um it's quite early so it's only half past eight and i'm up i'm ready i've walked the dog and I'm going to take some pictures basically and I thought that I would show you how I do it because I have talked about it briefly I think on another vlog but um, I haven't shown you exactly what I use so I'm going to do that because I'm still taking pictures at home I'm going to try and integrate a few street style shoots soon but most of my pictures I'm still taking at home I do some of them outside but um, I'm taking them inside today and yeah the weather was supposed to be quite nice but it's really cloudy i was hoping that the sunlight was going to be shining through this window in front of me but it's just not so 
Hopefully it might come out in a minute or it might not, who knows. So this is basically the setup that I have at the moment. I just have this giant sheet which I got from Amazon um, on a little bit of wire on two hooks on the wall and I chose to do it here because I have this massive window so it lets in quite a lot of light so it's quite a good place to shoot and in the mornings um, early the sunlight actually shines directly onto this so it can create some nice pictures it's super cruised at the moment but yeah it's really long it goes all the way out so I could even take this and hang it up outside if I wanted to you can put it anywhere so it's quite a good hack um, I know lots of people obviously are using bed sheets but this is just a really good size and a little bit more fit for purpose I just got um, this off Amazon I'll link everything in the description box um, yeah, I just got this off Amazon and the wire and the hooks off Amazon as well. And then as I've primarily been shooting on my own, I use a tripod. This one again, I think is from Amazon. I can't remember. Um, with a phone holder on the top. So I just pop my phone in there. So my phone just goes in there like that. And obviously I can adjust it to where I want it. Um, and then I basically connect this little thing, which is a Bluetooth clicker. And then once I press that button, it just takes the pictures so I can stand here and take pictures obviously not like this but yeah that's how I do it so nice and simple really easy if you're shooting on your own I don't know if any of you do the same thing I do or you just want to take some nice pictures so I've got a couple of outfits to shoot today at the moment I've got on this set from Forth and Reckless um, which is really cute like a nice crop top and some shorts it needs a press because it's super creased um, but I thought that I would just iron out the creases when I edit the photo so we're gonna do that instead I've also got um, a couple more outfits to do today as well and then that's my morning I'm gonna hope to get this done in about an hour fingers crossed morning guys it's Tuesday and I don't know what the hell has happened to my skin I literally just woke up this morning and had this huge breakout like all over my chin um, I think it might be because I used a vitamin C cream on my face last night um, I didn't think it would work that quickly like it's literally brought out about five or six spots on my chin this one I already had um, but all of these on my chin like I went to bed last night and I was fine and this morning I've woke up looking like I've got chicken box so not ideal um I'm gonna put a little bit of tinted moisturizer on my face just so I don't cry when I look in the mirror I've just done a little bit of skincare but I've kept it really simple um because I don't want to make this any worse so I've just put on um my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream I literally just washed my face with warm water this morning and a muslin cloth um, and then some moisturiser and some of my niacinamide, which is still sold out everywhere. I tried to get some more the other day um, because I'm not running too low, but I just wanted to see if I could get some as a spare. And it's literally still sold out everywhere. It's literally sold out on Look Fantastic, Beauty Bay and Cult Beauty. So not ideal. Um, but yeah, I'm literally going to put some tinted moisturiser on and cover this up and then I have some new jewelry to show you before I end this vlog. So I'm sat in this spot again, um, I feel like I've spent most of my video sat here but it's probably my favourite corner of my room and this chair is so comfy. So um, yeah I just wanted to show you a few bits of jewellery that arrived the other day from Astrid and Miu. Astrid and Miu, Astrid and Miu, um, Miu. Um, basically it was a surprise I didn't know that um, these pieces were arriving so it was really nice and it actually kind of made my day a little bit um, because they're such nice pieces the first one I've already worn hence why it's not in the box um, but it's this beautiful necklace it's this twisted gold circle with a pearl hanging in the middle and it's just gorgeous I also love the thickness of this chain I think it's beautiful yeah I love this perfect for summer um, another thing I got that I'm actually wearing, come a bit closer, excuse the spots, these huggies here, uh, just in my first hole, which I think are so cute, really pretty, I'm obsessed with huggies at the moment, the ones in my second hole are also from um, Astrid and Miu as well, uh, and these are the earrings that match the necklace that I just showed you, so pretty, these make such a nice set. 
I love this jewellery as well because it's such amazing quality. Um, it looks so much more expensive than it is. So I also have these Huggies here which are super simple. Just this really classic gold band with some studs. And then finally, more Huggies. But these are like dangly ones. Um, but I think they go really nicely with the ones that I'm wearing. So pretty. Again, super simple. So easy to wear, nice classic pieces that are never going to go out of style. I will link all these pieces in the description box for you. I also purchased these, which literally just arrived like 10 minutes ago. Um, some dad sandals, which most of you are probably not going to like. I know that my mum is going to hate these. Um, my boyfriend's probably going to hate them as well. But they are these like Velcro strap over quilted dad sandals um, and I just basically wanted to try them I've seen them look quite good on a lot of people the Chanel ones I think are lovely but I wasn't sure if they were really my style um, and if they were going to suit me so I just wanted some super affordable ones um, to try out because I don't normally buy trend dead pieces so I thought I would give these a go and I literally just typed into Google dad sandals and these came up so I will link them below there they were like 20 quid so they're not good quality they're not leather um, they're probably not going to last that well but like I said I just wanted to try them out and see if they would suit me so these are the ones I got but you can get these pretty much anywhere now because they're so on trend there are a lot of high street stores as well and my hoodie and my shorts are from girl knows all but i think i've shown these before on my channel i know i said i might include a little clip of the new patio that we're having in our garden but it's not finished yet so i thought that i would just leave that for another vlog because i'm not even sure if it would be that interesting or if any of you guys um even want to see it but yeah i might save that for another vlog i'm sure you'll see it um as the weather starts to get nicer at some point on the channel anyway from next month as i said in my last video um i'm only going to be uploading once a week on youtube so it will just be every sunday you'll have a new video instead of every wednesday and sunday i just need a little bit of a break and i want to put more effort into my videos so i'm hoping that just by uploading once a week i can do both of those things yeah so i think i might end this vlog here um i hope you enjoyed it it was just kind of like a random few days put together but lots of you have said some really kind things recently about my vlogs and have wanted to see more so i thought that i would just put this one together for you last minute so if you did enjoy this video please give it a like and if you are new to my channel i would love it if you subscribed and i will see you all very soon with another video